Hey, what's up? It's Annika and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I had posted a screenshot of my wallpaper, which you can't see very well right now, but I'll show you in a second, um, on my Instagram story. And I got a lot of different responses asking how I did it and what type of widgets I used and how to do it for you. I also wanted to point out that I do have a website where I will be uploading freebie wallpapers and links to all of my creator gear that I use to vlog and links to all of my social stuff. So if you wanna check that out, that's linked in my description. So I had a different video planned for today, but I actually asked if a lot of people would be interested in me doing a full walkthrough, even though I shared the apps that I used and everything on my Instagram story at Annika's Paintbrush. But still, it's it can be difficult if you have no idea what you're doing or you just need some ideas and guidance, which is, like, I'm definitely that way. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and screen record my screen and walk you through exactly how I did it. The part that I got the most questions on was how to create the countdown. So this video will be mainly focused about that, but I do have another video on how to create more aesthetic app icons. And I walk you through exactly how to create the covers using the shortcuts method. So if you'd like to check that video out, I'll go ahead and link that above and I'll go ahead and link it in the description as well. But uh, let me um scoot on over. Okay, so this is my home screen. I have my little countdown for Disney World and it just gets me so excited. I had a countdown for Christmas as well. So it's always counting down for me. It's not like you have to manually update it. It will automatically count for you, which is awesome. And I did use app covers for all of my different apps as you can see here in that really pretty beige color. Now this was actually a theme that I downloaded from the Brass app. So I'll show you. So the Brass app I actually collaborated with on a past video and I'll go ahead and link that as well when I was changing my theme from Halloween or fall themed to Christmas. And I walk you through exactly how I downloaded things through the Brass app. So I'll link that above and in the description. But as you can see, there's like a ton of different themes and here's the theme I downloaded. It looks exactly like my phone because hello, I downloaded that theme. So that's how I did that. But in order to get the countdown, you need to download the Color Widgets app. So if you just go into App Store, type in Color Widgets, it will pop up. It's the very first one. So it's this one with all the fun colored boxes. Now you can do a few different things on the Color Widgets app, but when I first downloaded it, I thought it was just a little too much for my home screen. But I realized that you could actually make a countdown. So I already have it downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Color Widgets and I have my countdown that I already created at the top here. But if I wanted to add a second one, let me just add a second widget. Okay, so then it kind of added this little box at the top. So now I can click on that and you can decide if you want it to be the square, the medium or so like the small, medium or large widget. So as you can see, you can see the different shapes and sizes and all that. And then you can go ahead and customize it. So this is where you can get super creative. You can either choose the colors that they already have listed for you. You can actually go in and use the color dropper tool to get a very specific type of color. Oh, you can, you can enter in your hex numbers or your RBG values or RGB values, I don't know. But if you wanted like a very particular color, you could add that in, but I don't need to do that. Or you can add in a photo, which is really awesome. Um, but like, let's say I wanted to add in this photo of my dog and <laughs> then it'll put it as the background for you. So you can change the font of what's on there and you can click down here and say change widget. You can go through this style and then here is where you can customize it even further. If you just wanted the blank photo, if you just wanted the weather, music, calendar, there's all these different options that I didn't even realize, but these are kind of cool. Okay, you could do reminders and all of that has your photo background, which is pretty nice. So if you wanted to add that into your theme, but we've got reminders, clock. As you can see, there's tons of different options. So the countdown one is the one that I chose and I just did a blank background. So let me just delete the photo to just show you the blank background. And I just did plain white background with black text, changed my font to, let's see, let's scroll over here. I chose this one. There's not really names of them. You just click on them and then you can see the difference. You can type in your own text. So I typed in Disney World 
and then it'll show me my text at the top here and I can change the date and now you can see here the count changes and it'll list exactly how many days you have left and the date that you are counting down to. So obviously in the small one, it doesn't show the date, but in the medium one, which is the one I chose, it shows the date for you. But just to kind of walk you through some of the different kind of discovery things that like you can see what other people did or get inspiration and see all these other ideas and really you can get super creative with it. Obviously there's a set amount of fonts you can choose from and all of the different types of widgets that you can choose from within this app. For the most part, you can probably find something that you want to create, like that has pre-built-in countdowns like this, like Valentine's Day, my birthday, and all of these other different dates. But <laughs> there you have it. That's how I created a countdown on my screen. And it's a lot simpler than you probably think. And downloading the apps is so helpful because you can just go in and customize it. And now in order to add the widget onto your screen, you hold down. And once you get the little plus sign in the upper left hand corner, so you scroll all the way down to the color widgets, click on it. And then you choose the size that you want of the widget that you created in the color widgets app. So I can say add widget. And I just added it again, even though I already have it over there. But that's how you would add in the widget that you created. So then now you're, can, you're free to move it around and do whatever you want. You can actually still go back in and edit it in the Color Widgets app, and it will automatically update it on your home screen. So let me go into Color Widgets, click on it. And if I wanted to change the background to like this pink color, I can say set widget and it automatically changes it. So I don't want it to be that color, but <laughs> let me go change it back. And then I can say set widget and then it'll be back. So you can also delete it if you want. You can just remove it. It'll remove it from your screen. It won't actually delete it from your color widgets app. So don't worry about that. And then you can say done and it'll be all good. So I only have my first two pages all aesthetic and I actually got these images like the coffee definition and like the line drawing from Pinterest and I just use the Widgetsmith app which is another Widgets app, <laughs> Widgetsmith, which I downloaded on the app store and I actually went through this one on my iOS 14 setup video which I'll go ahead and link above here but in here you can also create separate widgets and I added small widgets for pictures and you can do um when you click on it you can select from the different options and the different styles so i just chose photo and then i uploaded the pinterest photo and then once you do that you want to make sure you rename it to something that you'll remember it so this is just like date save or if you do photo like i named them coffee or coffee lines i go back to my home screen let me go to the last page I just hold down on my home screen until the widgets or the apps are shaking. Click the little plus sign in the up left hand corner. Okay, and then now you scroll all the way to the bottom to widget smith and I want to add a small widget. And now here if I tap on it, it I think it automatically defaults it to date because that was the last thing I added. But if I change it, let me click on my coffee one, it will change it to that image. And so you want to make sure you name your widget something that you'll that correlates to it so that you can go find it when you want to add it in. And then you can move it around like normal, just like your other widgets and your other apps. I also got this perspective image of upside down, like totally Ariana Grande moment from Pinterest as well. And that was just a medium image widget. And yeah, for some of my app covers, the brass app didn't have every single one. Like it didn't have the Starbucks one. So I did actually have to go the long route and create my own shortcut for those particular apps that weren't really included on the theme. So I did actually create shortcuts for those separately and then I just rearranged everything so it, it was in a way that was cohesive for me. So just to keep that in mind. But there you have it. That's how I created my widgets in my countdown and how I added the images and all of that. It's very simple. It's it's a little bit confusing when you first go in to do it, but once you get the hang of it, you can just easily go in and change it all. You become a pro at decorating or customizing your home screen. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm on a debt-free journey and I am 
taking you all along on the process with me. Also a reminder, if you wanna check out my website for any freebie wallpapers that I will continue to be adding on to the page that I have. I only have a couple right now, but slowly I'll start adding to it. But go ahead and check that out in my description. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And if you want to see any more of these types of videos, please let me know as well. But thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.